The Golden Future, What to Expect and How to Reach the Fifth Dimension Written and read by Diana Cooper Part 1. The Journey to the Golden Future of Earth Chapter 1. Your Invitation to Earth Earth is a special mystery school. The lessons and understandings offered are unique. You are amazingly blessed to receive the opportunity to be here. Rejoicing in a rainbow, examining a butterfly, stroking a cat, touching a petal, smelling a flower, paddling in a stream, or playing with a child are sensations only available on earth. When Lady Gaia invites you here, she reminds you that life on earth is a unique opportunity. Be grateful for it. You are a spiritual being who has volunteered for this expedition. One of the items of equipment you receive is a physical body connected to your emotional and mental bodies. Your mind, emotions and physical bodies are delicate feedback instruments. Everything comes through your spiritual body and filters into your mind. Your thoughts affect your emotions as well as your physical well-being. Your emotions are also reflected in your health and body. You are expected to pay attention to this. You are also equipped with a team of helpers. After all, if you're exploring foreign terrain, even if you've been there several times before, you will need your team to scout ahead, to help you search for food and shelter, and to draw your attention to those things that you have come to explore or learn. These helpers are your guides and angels, especially your guardian angel, who has been with you throughout your soul journey. This is the being, usually invisible to you, who encourages you, protects you, tries to point out the right path, and arranges for you to meet the people you need to connect with in order to fulfill your destiny. There are also many other angels and archangels who are with you the instant you need them. Remember to ask for help, for they cannot assist you unless you ask, as it would contravene your free will. In addition, you have guides who have usually but not always experienced an incarnation on earth. These can change as you progress on your path. If, for example, you decide to become a solicitor, a guide will come to you who can help you with the law. If you train to be a medical professional, a healing guide will assist you. You can have several guides. An incarnation on earth is considered to be the Everest of experiences. If you are climbing that particular mountain, you need a good team of Sherpas, and it massively enhances and assists your journey if you consult them. Every year on your birthday, Lady Gaia's angels sing over you with love to renew the welcome of your invitation. They also check that the blueprint for your life is still right for you. Do you need to change the original design? Does it still fulfill the vision you held when you incarnated? Every seventh year, your overlighting archangel consults your guardian angel to see how your mission is progressing. If you need support or help, this will be provided. This also applies if you've moved on to a different path or progressed even more than envisaged. Your soul chose your name because it had a specific vibration that aligned with your mission. Every time it is sounded, it calls in your soul lessons. On your birthday, the angels sing in the vibration of your full name with great love in order to encourage you. If alterations need to be made on your life path, this will be reflected in the vibrations of the angelic voices. All these lessons, instructions and experiences are brought to you through your spiritual energy centers or chakras. As we move into the fifth dimension 
and our twelve chakras are established, the lessons become more advanced and more precise. We are moving from school to university. Later on, I will be sharing the lessons you need to understand, experience or master in each chakra. When you've mastered the lessons of the twelve spiritual centers, you can integrate your divine master blueprint and start to bring back your gifts and your divine wisdom as we move into the golden future. Visualization to connect with your angels and guides. Sit quietly and relax. See or sense your guardian angel beside you. See or sense how many other angels are with you. See or sense your guides with you. Invoke your overlighting archangel and see or sense them with you. How does it feel to have so much help and guidance? Ask any questions and sense the response. Chapter 2 The Golden Future of Earth Between 2012 and 2032, Earth is birthing a new fifth-dimensional golden age, a period during which everything will radiate a golden aura of love and wisdom. It commences in 2032, and the world will have changed beyond recognition by that time. It is destined that our planet and everyone on her will be fifth-dimensional, or at least at the upper levels of the fourth dimension, by 2032. How we experience this transition is up to us, but Earth itself will ascend fully into the fifth dimension in 2032, whether or not individuals stay for the ride. If you are reading these words, you have incarnated to help the planet make this transition. It is a responsibility and also a massive opportunity for ascension. The current period between 2012 and 2032 is the most important that there has ever been in the history of the planet. We are at a crucial stage. Therefore, it is really important to listen to and act on your intuition. Only listen to positive predictions and messages. Give no energy to anything else. Focus on the new and wonderful awaiting you when you arrive at the end of the journey. If you do this, your aura will become more and more golden. During the 20 years between 2012 and 2032, a metamorphosis will take place. Some events during this 20-year period are set in stone. For example, the Olympic Games were always going to be held in London in 2012, regardless of how much bidding or competition there was from other cities around the world. London is the Earth Star Chakra of Earth, and the energy and excitement of the Olympic Games were needed to activate it, for it is only when this chakra awakens in an individual or a planet that the ascension process can start. Some of your own experiences, too, are predestined. These may include, for example, meeting your partner or travelling to a certain country. If something is preordained, it will happen no matter what. However, your thoughts, actions and visualisations can massively influence your life journey, including your fated relationships and life events. Currently, your thoughts, attitudes and visualizations are helping to co-create a new golden age. When you energize the predictions for the golden future, you are manifesting the new world in the best possible way. The end of a cycle. Let's put the significance of the years between 2012 and 2032 into perspective. The year 2012 
marked the end of a 26,000-year cosmic era. It was also the end of a cycle of 10 cosmic eras, so it finalised a 260,000-year epoch for all the universes. A cosmic epoch is sometimes called an outbreath of God, and this is a period of creation. It is followed by a 20-year inbreath of God, when the outmoded collapses and anything that is not working is drawn back to the Godhead. We are in the middle of this stage right now. In 2032, a new outbreath of creation will begin at a frequency higher than before. For 260,000 years, Earth was part of a fourth dimensional universe. However, Earth itself was third dimensional. Of all the planets in this universe, Earth alone descended to the lower frequency. During this vast epoch, for 1500 years, the legendary Golden Era of Atlantis arose like a light in the darkness. In that period, everyone was fifth dimensional and acted for the highest good of all. It was a time of contentment, happiness, and extraordinary crystal technology. Then, one powerful mage decided to use his power for his own benefit. He used it to control others, and his lower consciousness spread quickly. People closed their hearts and became self-centered. The frequency of Atlantis rapidly devolved into the third dimension. Higher beings who were helping had to withdraw, as they could not access such a low vibration. Five chakras containing the gifts of the Atlanteans were withdrawn from humanity. Finally, the Intergalactic Council decided to terminate that period in a great flood. In the 10,000 years that followed, third-dimensional Earth underwent a new experiment, that of masculine domination. Why was Earth third-dimensional in a fourth-dimensional universe? There are two reasons why our planet was out of step with the rest of the universe. The first is that ages ago, a call went out from the Intergalactic Council to all the planets to volunteer to host a unique experiment, that of free will. People could choose whether to act from their divine will or their lower one. Throughout the cosmos, nothing like this had ever been considered and the concept was regarded with awe, wonder and amazement by every being in the universes. The Council for Planet Earth volunteered for the experiment. Souls daring to incarnate would go through the veil of amnesia, forget that they were divine beings, and step into the unknown. Another agreement of the free will experiment was that every thought and action would be recorded, and if the balance sheet of a lifetime was in debit, the soul agreed to incarnate again to try to balance their karmic account. Over the years, beings from all over the universes have been watching in awe and amazement the courageous adventurers who have dared to incarnate as humans on Earth. Anyone who enters this planet is considered exceptionally brave. It is regarded as a jungle where you face many challenges to your soul. If you meet a being out in the cosmos who learns that you've been to Earth, they will look at you with respect and admiration. No one expected those on Earth to sink into self centered, selfish behavior but we did. While the remainder of this universe remained open-hearted and fourth-dimensional, the frequency on Earth fell. The second reason that Earth fell behind is this. 
In the third dimension, your solar plexus chakra sends out feelers to watch for danger. And through this psychic center, you also absorb the fears of others. Because Earth is the cosmic solar plexus chakra, our planet is absorbing the fears of the entire universe. We have had to transmute these, and this has held us back. Because we have lagged behind, we are attracting an extraordinary amount of help from the universe during the birth of the new golden age. It is as if the baby being birthed has got stuck and needs extra assistance. Great illumined beings, angelic beings and wise ones are focusing their light and energy on earth now. We can ask them for help to birth the new according to divine timing. The 20 years between 2012 and 2032 are unique in the history of our planet. There has never been an experience or opportunity like this. You have incarnated now to help birth a fifth dimensional golden age in an entirely new cosmic cycle. The time frame. The preparations for the end of one era and the beginning of the next are similar to those of leaving one house and moving to a bigger one. Planning, deciding what to throw away and what to take, packing and organizing the new home, all commence well before the move itself. The timeline for Earth, starting before 2012, is as follows. 1987, the Harmonic Convergence. On the 25th of August, 1987, planetary alignment activated a 25-year period of purification to prepare for 2012. In order to facilitate this, the violet flame of transmutation was returned for our use by Saint-Germain, working with Archangel Zadkiel. 2012. This year marked the predestined end of an outbreath of God. This was the conclusion of ten cycles of cosmic eras, a 260,000-year period. At 11.11 on the 21st of December 2012, there was a divine pause, known as the cosmic moment. Source energy touched the heart of every being on Earth, and on every planet, star or galaxy, in this and every other universe. In that instant, an inbreath of God was triggered throughout the cosmos, and a twenty-year passage to a higher frequency commenced. Every planet, star and galaxy in this and every other universe started to ascend to a higher dimension. In that instant, an inbreath of God was triggered throughout the cosmos, and a twenty-year passage to a higher frequency commenced. Every planet, star, and galaxy in this and every other universe started to ascend to a higher dimension, and a new cosmic epoch was initiated. At the same moment, thirty-three cosmic portals throughout the planet carrying Christ light started to open, radiating high-frequency energies in order to prepare the world for the new golden age. Many other portals and pyramids also awoke. From the cosmic moment, this entire universe was given 20 years to clear out anything associated with the lower vibration and embrace the fifth dimension. Because we on Earth were behindhand for the reasons I've mentioned, we only had 20 years to make a double-dimensional shift from the third to the fifth dimension. Nothing like this had ever happened before, and a concentrated program began. 2017 In 2017, the cleansing of the planet was stepped up. It was decreed that this would be done by the elements, so flooding Earthquakes, hurricanes and wildfires intensified for five years. This was to clear the pockets of negativity, free the ley lines and dissolve the karma that had been preventing us from connecting with the pure vitality of Earth. 
2022. This was the last year of major purification, so the incidences of extreme action by the elements should calm down now. The Turkey-Syria earthquake in early 2023 is destined to be the last devastating earthquake. The old third-dimensional paradigm will finally collapse and, despite quite a bit of chaos, a more optimistic feeling will spread. We are to start drawing up clean energy as well as the love of Lady Gaia through the soles of our feet as we walk. This will massively change how we feel. In 2022, a period of controlling Saturn's dominance ended and the more bountiful and expansive Jupiter became more influential. As citizens everywhere realised how we had been manipulated, people power and mass unrest started to change the balance of control on the planet. 2023 to 2032 between 2023 and 2032, the world will start to look towards the new golden age. Fresh ideas and plans will be put into place by the people for the people. In 2032, a new blueprint will be activated for the entire universe that will enable the next golden age to reach an even higher frequency than the golden age of Atlantis. The population of Earth. The optimum population of Earth is 2 billion. Currently there are 8 billion. There is a spiritual reason for this mass influx of souls. Because this is the end of a 260,000 year cosmic period, Source granted a dispensation to allow all those with karma outstanding to return now to try to complete it. Millions of souls with heavy karmic debts to repay have taken advantage of this opportunity. However, when we enter Earth and go through the veil of amnesia, we forget our origins and divine connection. We also forget our soul contract and life mission. Many of those who have returned to try to atone for their previous misdeeds have forgotten this and are now causing problems as they fall back into their old ways. At the same time, millions of light workers have incarnated in order to birth the awesome Golden Age. The aim of every light worker is to help as many people as possible to ascend to the light during this crucial period. Gaia will be fully fifth dimensional by 2032, regardless of people's decisions and actions. People who have not awakened spiritually and opened their hearts by that date will choose to return to the inner planes or move to another third dimensional plane where they can continue to experience drama. There will be a big decline in population. The children incarnating for the new golden age will be of a much higher frequency, ready to take our planet to previously unexplored heights. Visualization to live in the golden future. Take a moment to relax. Imagine a world where everybody is happy and healthy. Everyone is contented because they are fulfilled at a soul level. People everywhere cooperate and look after one another. There is enough for everyone. We all respect one another's race and religion. The land itself is pure and shining. Every day we draw in clean energy from earth and breathe pure air. This is the new golden age into which we are moving. How does it feel to live like this?